Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to sit down. I want to talk to you guys about some products that I cannot stop using. I cannot put them down. Not all of them are makeup products. Some of them are like body care, skincare, that kind of a sort of deal. Every day when I'm getting ready and every single time I'm doing my makeup, I am reaching for these products. I am just absolutely loving them and I need I need to share them with you. Some of them are newer to me that I've just been really loving and some of them are Old Faithfuls. You've heard me talk about them, you know, in the past, but I just have to like re-mention them to you because I just cannot stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I have two sunscreens that I've been loving mixing together. Now, I am not entirely sure. I don't think you're supposed to mix sunscreens together but these two together are just like a dream team and I just love how they look on me. So I just kind of throw caution to the wind and mix them together anyways. And they are being the Bliss Block Star as well as the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is a more mattifying sort of sunscreen. It's got a little bit of a tint to it. It doesn't really provide coverage per se. The Glow Screen is very glowy, almost on the little bit on the metallic side. I don't use this on its own unless I'm putting makeup on top of it. And just the combination of this being a little bit more on the matte side, having that tint, this being glowy and having that beautiful sheen to it, then combine make my skin look healthy and glowy and it doesn't provide coverage like I said but I feel like maybe it's in my mind but I feel like it just helps even out my skin tone and makes me feel a little bit more confident when I don't have makeup on. Is it extra to mix together two sunscreens? Yes 100% okay you do not need to do that and honestly there might be a like tinted version of a glowy I don't know there could be something out there that is similar to these two combined that I haven't tried so if like that description that I kind of said and like the application you know shots showing me applying it um if you know of something that is similar to these two combined but like one product please leave it down below in the comments because I would like to use just one product um not that it takes a long time to mix them together in the morning but I need I have a new one of these trust me this is almost gone and um I'm squeezing the last little bits out of it, but I did just recently repurchase one at Target. So a couple months ago, I got a PR package from Laura Mercier, and I do get PR from them from time to time, but it's usually makeup. This time, it was a whole box of like skincare products. Maybe I'm living under a rock, but I didn't even know that Laura Mercier had skincare products. It was like a hand cream, a body oil, a exfoliating shower gel, body wash, a body souffle, like a body lotion, and then this perfume. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tried any of the other products just because I'm currently using those type of products in my routine that are other products. Like I need to finish up products first before I go in with those. And do I have a thousand perfumes open? Yeah, I do. But I wanted to try this out anyways. This smells delicious. So this is their Ambre Vanille perfume. I totally probably butchered that name. Okay, I just looked this up because I, like I said, got it in the PR package and I didn't really know much about it. I don't see it on Ulta and I don't see it on Sephora for some reason, but I looked it up on the Laura Mercier website. This is $90. That's a lot of money. I don't know if I would repurchase this once it's gone, but I feel like it's gonna last me a long time. Like I've been using this nonstop the last month or so and I don't wear perfume every day, but I wear it, you know, a couple times a week and I've only used up this much. But I was kind of shocked when I looked it up online because the reviews on this are like pretty bad. It has like 3.2 stars out of five on the Laura Mercier website. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I love this perfume. Why are the reviews so bad? I guess they used to have an amber vanille, vanilla, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right. Vanilla, amber vanilla <laughs> perfume. And this one replaced it. And this one doesn't smell as good and doesn't last as long. I'm putting air quotes because I don't know. That's just what the reviews are saying. And I did not try out the old one. So if you have tried the old one and you love the old one, take that with a grain of salt. I don't know if you'll like this one, but me not trying the old one before, I love this. It smells yummy, like really, really yummy. It is vanilla-y, so you have to like vanilla to enjoy this perfume, but it's not like a teeny bopper young sort of vanilla. It's more like sophisticated, kind of reminds me of like vanilla lace from Victoria's Secret forever ago. They had that scent um, and that, it reminds me of that. I don't know, it's just like vanilla-y and comforting and cozy and warm and just a really lovely scent in my humble opinion. It doesn't last all day long. No, I don't think so, but I don't really have many perfumes that honestly last all day long on me, so I'm not too, too upset about that. Um, but yeah, I've just been wearing this down top. I love it. I just feel like I smell so yummy and inviting and warm and cozy when I wear this. So next up, I have a little palette that I will say 
if this was me <laughs> recording this video this time last year or even a couple months ago, I don't think that I would have the pull to this palette that I do right now. My preferences, my makeup preferences have changed. I've said that like every video recently, so you guys are probably like, we're sick of hearing you say that, but it's true. I'm embracing the more dewy look and I am going a little less out there and loud with my eyeshadow. I like a little bit more subdued eyeshadow. So because of that, I've been loving this Buxom palette. This is our straight up eye and cheek palette and inside it has four eyeshadows as well as a blush. I've used all four of the eyeshadows and I do enjoy them and I also have used the blush and I think it's a really beautiful, just muted pinky sort of blush tone. But the reason why I've been reaching for this so much is this eye look right here. It is simple, it is easy, it's not wham bam in your face, it's just a really subdued shimmer that's got a little bit of sparkle to it, but nothing like too wild like I said. And it's the easiest eye look, it takes me two seconds to apply it. I just throw this um, matte shade right here through the crease and then I do put glitter glue on my eyelid. I don't know if you need it with this shade right here. Uh, you might not, but I just always use glitter primer. Um, and then I just tap this shade right here all over the lid. And it is a beautiful, like bronzy, summery, warm sort of eye look. It, I feel like it looks like I took longer on my eyeshadow and tried harder than I did, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say this is the best quality eyeshadows I've ever used in my entire life. The matte is a little powdery and it takes some building. By the end of the day, it does kind of fluff away a little tiny bit, but the shimmer does stay on all day long. That could be the glitter primer. I don't know how it applies on its own. So just a forewarning there. But yeah, I'm loving this eye look and you can catch me in this eye look like nine times out of 10, I do my makeup recently. <laughs> Okay, this next product is a little bit of a update for you guys because I recently purchased it. I guess not super recently, but in my last Sephora sale haul, I believe is when I purchased this product and it's an Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Do I think it's anything revolutionary? No, I don't think it completely blocks out and erases all the pores in my face. I definitely don't think it does that, but I think it helps, which is all I'm really looking for. I just get a little tiny dollop out on my fingers and then press it into my T-zone right here, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, and a little tiny bit on my chin. I really focus most of it right here where I have the most predominant pores. Like I said, it doesn't completely fill them in and like erase them, but I do think it helps out. And then when I put makeup on top of it, it just seems to help make everything a little bit smoother, look a little bit more airbrushed. So if you've had your eye on this, I recommend it. I do really like it. I would probably pick up the mini of it just because you don't need a lot of it. This isn't a type of primer that you put all over your face. You could, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you how to wear your makeup. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I just personally don't use it like that. So this little tube is gonna last me for quite a while. I'm trying to see like how much I've got left. I can't really see through it. Um, but I feel like this is gonna last me for a long time and I do plan on repurchasing it, but I'm gonna probably repurchase the mini size and not the big one because that one would just expire before I could use it all up because I use such a small amount. So if you've had your eye on it, definitely recommend, but I would pick up the mini just to try it out. You know what I mean? What if you don't like it? Okay, I'm not gonna harp on this one too long because you've heard me. You've heard me talk about this product a thousand times like literally a thousand times. I use it in almost every get ready with me. I talk about it so, so much, but I just am still obsessed with this and I still use it every single time I do my makeup. I cannot recall a time in the last couple of months that I've done my makeup and I haven't used this product. And it's the NARS Cream Bronzer. It is just the best dang cream bronzer I've ever used. Even when, okay, I'm totally lying to you because I have done my makeup the past couple of months and not used this because I want to, I'm like forcing myself to use my other cream bronzers because I just keep expecting to use another cream bronzer and think, oh, this is just as good as the NARS. I can keep using this one as well. And every time I'm let down and I, every time I'm disappointed that I didn't use my NARS cream bronzer <laughs> because it is just the best. I truly could declutter every other cream bronzer in my collection and just keep this and be completely fine. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that but I could if I absolutely had to. And I would just use this and be fine. I have a massive pan in it. It is, I'm gonna use this whole thing up and then I'm gonna repurchase it because it's so good. I have the shade Laguna 01, which is perfect for my fair skin tone. Even now, I mean, you can't, you can't really tell because I'm still a piece of paper, but I do have a little bit of a tan. We've had a couple pool days this summer and I do go on walks almost every day. So I do have a little bit of a tan and it still is working with my tanner skin tone. And then earlier in the year when I was literally Casper, it worked for that too. So this like 01 shade is just perfect for my skin tone and would be really good for if you are around my skin tone, but they do have four other shades, which is nice. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's not the cheapest thing ever. I think it's like $38, but it will last you a long time. You don't need very much and it just blends in. You cannot mess it up. doesn't matter how little or how much you use of this. You just tap it in and it blends itself. It's completely effortless, never gets patchy, lasts all day long. You can set it, you cannot set it. You can put a powder bronzer over it. You cannot put a powder bronzer over it. Like it doesn't matter. You cannot mess this product up. It is chef's kiss, the best. <laughs> Okay, deviating from makeup for a hot second. We'll get back to it, don't worry. I have a deodorant to talk to you guys about, which I haven't really had any deodorant to discuss with you guys. Well, I don't really discuss deodorant on my channel, but also I've been using the native deo deodorants for years at this point, and I just kind of stopped using them. I don't know why. There wasn't really a aha moment or like a, I, I, don't, I really don't know why I stopped using them, but I did. And then I saw Jessica Braun, that girl could sell me anything, talk about this Lumi. I think brand. Um, so I picked up a couple things using her like discount code that she was like, you know, talking about in her video. But I'm really liking this. I am. This is their whole body deodorant. Um, this is the solid version. They do have the whole body deodorant in like a liquid, a liquid version. It says it's for pits, privates, and beyond. I only use it on my underarms. That's all I've used it for. But for that, I really do enjoy it. It's the toasted coconut scent. This is very strong. So if you're sensitive to scents, I would stay clear of this scent. Uh, they do have other ones that I haven't smelled and then I do believe they have an unscented version as well. This does smell really yummy though, like toasted coconutty. It's like warm and inviting and uh, it, it does smell good. I, I'm not really that good at describing scents to you, but it does smell yummy. And I feel like it lingers. You could take that as a pro or a con. To me, it's a pro. Um, it's aluminum free, it has 72 hour odor control. I definitely agree with that. I mean, I don't really go like 72 hours usually without showering, but I attest that it does have pretty good odor control. It says it's made with skin safe ingredients. It's made from 95% post-consumer recycled plastic. So yeah, I don't know. I've just been really enjoying this. It smells yummy. It lasts all day long. I don't know if it really helps me stop sweating, but I don't really struggle with that too much, like sweat stains or anything like that. So if you've seen this brand kind of popping off, cause I feel like it is, I don't know, I feel like I would check it out if I were you. Like I said, they have other scents and I would be open to trying other scents because this one is rather strong, but it does smell good. All right, this powder is not new at all. It's been on the market for a really long time. I've used it for a while now. I used up a mini completely a couple years ago at this point and I bought a full size of it and it was just hanging out in my collection and I wasn't using it until I kept complaining about how every powder I put on my face recently has made my face look dry and crepey. I just am becoming more dry as I get older and I'm embracing the more dewy face lifestyle. And one of my subscribers on here made a comment. They were like, why don't you use the hourglass translucent powder? And it was like a light bulb that went off on my head. Like, duh, Emily, you've used that powder in the past. You really enjoyed it. I will say I liked it less when I used up the mini a couple years ago because I was more oily and it didn't seem to have enough oomph to it at the time. But now that's like exactly what I want. I This powder is amazing because it just sets your face down without being too powdery, without being too drying. It lets the glow still kind of shine through your makeup that you have underneath. So it doesn't like mattify your face and make you look like crepey or anything like that. Like I have just been using the heck out of this. Every single time I use a powder on my face, it's gonna be this one. I can use it on my eyes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I will set my whole face with this. I will set just my T-zone with this. I mean, I have just been rocking this powder nonstop. I know it's not new. I know it's kind of expensive, but if you are like me and you're getting a little bit drier or you just need a powder that's not so dang thick and heavy and cakey and drying and powdery, this is for you. And like I said, they have a mini, so you can buy that and test it out to see if you like it before you invest in the full size because this is not the cheapest powder out there. I will be the first to admit. Only a couple more products left. This next one I've also mentioned in a video recently, so I'm gonna try to gloss over it. I know I've been talking a lot. I just get in these moods sometimes where I am just a chatty Kathy and I cannot stop talking to you about products. And I feel like this video is gonna be kind of long because of that, but Anyways, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Blush in the shade Confident Pink. This baby is very pigmented, okay? So you have to definitely be careful when you're applying it. You'll see in the uh, application shot that I did go a little overboard. I went a little overboard at first. I look a little clowny at first, but then I was able to tap on top of it with my powder brush and kind of make it look more subdued and a little less intense. But this blush is beautiful. I absolutely love the bright, 
pinky sort of shade. I think it's like vibrant and youthful and very like fresh for the summertime. I know it's in like August now where, you know, we're, we're leaning more towards the fall than the summer, but this is still really beautiful, summery fresh sort of blush. Like I said, it lasts all day long. I just think it brightens and makes my face look lively. I just want to warn you, like I said, it's just pigmented. So really, really be careful if you buy it because you can go overboard very easily. I tap off my brush into a cup that I like tap all my makeup brushes off into. And then I also tap it off into my hand and then lightly tap it on my skin. Is that a little bit annoying to be like that careful applying blush? Yes, but I just think it's worth it to have this beautiful pinky sort of look um, on my face. So yeah, $15 so. It's a $15 or $16 blush from the drugstore. I think that's a little ridiculous. I got it on sale at Ulta, so I would definitely probably wait for it to go on sale because um, I just think that's a lot for a drugstore blush. But if you can get it on sale or you just want to swing it and you don't care about the price, I've been loving it. This lip gloss took me by surprise. I bought it kind of on a whim. I feel like I heard Taylor Wynn talking about this and saying how much she liked it. And then CoverGirl was on sale at Ulta a couple weeks ago at this point. I think it was like buy one, get one half off or something. You know how they always do those sales on Ulta. Um, so I kind of picked it up on a whim just to like test it out. It is so stinking beautiful. This is their Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. I picked up the shade Glamingo Pink like Flamingo, but Glam, Glamingo Pink, 400. It is a beautiful gloss. I have it on today with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. I uh, like line my lips with it and then kind of like, well, I guess it's like brush it in my lips and like make the line less harsh, like blend it into my lips, I guess. Um, and then I just put this on top. It just gives the most beautiful sheen and glow. I think it makes my lips look thick and juicy and healthy. It doesn't really go into the lines at all. Um, it can a little bit, but not anything terrible. And it's just like so glossy and pretty. And it also does have a little bit of that like hint of pink to it, which is just pretty. Let me put a little bit more on to show you. The doe foot is huge, which I actually really like because it gets a lot of product on it. So it's really easy to just swipe it on. It takes two seconds. It also smells yummy, like fresh and fruity, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think it's so juicy and pretty. And I, anything that makes my lips look bigger and fuller, I am here for. If you apply too much, it does get a little stringy and goopy, like on your inner lips. Every lip gloss I feel like does that. Um, but yeah, I just think this is beautiful. And it comes in other shades as well. If you don't want to rock like the pinky sort of lips, um, I might pick up another shade. That's how much I'm liking it. But I don't need a lip gloss. So don't do it, Emily. But I would. I would. And last but not least, a setting spray that I've been obsessed with. The Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. This is so dang pretty. It's completely replaced my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, which has been a holy grail of mine for like almost two years at this point. I've used up a bunch of bottles of that. I haven't reached for that setting spray in months because of this one. It is just beautiful. It gives your face this nice, healthy glow without being oily or greasy at all. And I swear it makes my makeup last longer. I feel like I never wanted to use hydrating setting sprays or setting sprays that gave me a glow like this one does because I just kind of always assumed that it wouldn't help my makeup last. That my makeup would just kind of melt off throughout the day because this is like shiny and not shiny. I don't wanna say shiny, that's like scary, but just glowy, I guess is the correct word. Um, but no, this does really help my makeup last throughout the day. It does have a little bit of a scent to it, so be careful, but it doesn't linger. Um, I just spray it on and like let it air dry and then I do take my sponge and kind of like dab it in. And I think that helps with the longevity as well, but it just makes my face look so healthy and glowy and I am here for it. It does look a little less shiny in real life. I have like a whole bunch of lights on me right now. Like it looks a little bit more natural, not in front of like 15 lights. But I feel like this is having like a moment that quite a few people are talking about it. And for good reason, it is absolutely wonderful. I love using this. It just melts my makeup in. It just makes it look just stunning, like truly. And that's it, you guys. Those are some products that I just cannot put down. I cannot stop using them almost every single day. Well, I don't do my makeup every day. But when I do do my makeup, I am using these products and then the other like lifestyle products I'm using all the time. I just think that they are great. And I wanted to tell you guys about it. I have been struggling a little bit with the importance of makeup in my life right now because I have a four month old daughter that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And it just, I don't want to say I feel silly when I come on here and talk about makeup, but I do it's just less important to me than it was before I had her, which makes sense. So I feel like the videos I want to 
do going forward are going to be more like this telling you products i'm really loving or products that i'm not loving maybe trying new products for you kind of like the videos i've been doing the past couple of months um because that way i feel like i'm helping you guys and i'm not just on here like la -di -da -di -da, makeup like oh you know what i mean like i'm i'm trying to give you my honest opinion so i can help you make better purchasing decisions because everything is going up everything is expensive now these days inflation is bonkers so i want to help you guys save money or smartly spend your money does that make sense i think it does so i feel like i'm going to be doing a lot more of these types of videos giving my opinion of whether i like something or not so i can help you guys out so let me know down below in the comments have you tried any of these products if you have what are your thoughts do you love them like me did you struggle with them you guys know i'm nosy i love hearing from you guys down below in the comments if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.